Hi, and welcome to the CCAD Packard Library. In this video, we're going to explore the library and the resources that we offer. Sometimes new students ask, why do I need to learn how to do research? I'm here to make art. Since we are a college, though, you will have to write papers, like other college students. But did you know that artists do research for their artwork all the time? For example, if you were writing a graphic novel set in the early 1800s in China, you would want to know how people lived, what they wore, and what kinds of customs they had. One place you could look is in a book from our historic art book collection called The Costumes of China, published in the year 1800. Or maybe you're a jewelry designer and you want to research demographics so that you can market your work. We have online research guides called LibGuides that can direct you to resources on all kinds of topics, including business. Or let's say you're a product designer and you have a client who wants you to create a chair that echoes a certain historic period. You can use our books to research historic furniture design. But isn't everything on the internet? Short answer, no. In fact, there are millions of books, articles, manuscripts, images, and other sources of information that remain in analog form. They have not been scanned and they aren't available on the internet. Most of the internet is not searchable through Google or any search engine. Much of the internet consists of the deep web, and this includes academic databases, medical records, and legal documents. Some resources, like medical records, are private and cannot be accessed by the public. Others you can pay to access, but that doesn't mean a search engine can find what's inside. For example, you can search Google to find the website for Netflix, but you can't search inside Netflix using Google. Netflix is part of the deep web because it's behind a locked door, and the only way to open it is to subscribe. And sometimes, you'll have to pay for what you find on the web. You might have searched Google Scholar and found an article only to discover that you need to pay $40 to read it. Chances are, however, that you can find that article for free in one of the article databases the library subscribes to. So what can you find at the CCAD library? We have dozens of subscription databases that provide free access to articles, data, eBooks, and images. We have about 50,000 books and DVDs, drawing aids, a board game collection, rare books, and an archive of the school's history, as well as over 100 magazines to keep you current on the latest trends. Most textbooks are held on reserve, and you can read them in the library if you don't want to buy them. Last but not least, our librarians know a lot about art and design research, and we want you to gain skills that will help you succeed in your time at CCAD and later in your careers. You can contact us in several ways. You can visit when the library is open, you can make an appointment with one of us for in-depth help, or you can email or call us with your questions. Remember that since Google cannot give you access to our online resources, you'll need to access them through the library website, so be sure to bookmark it. 